We're moving our small homestead to North Carolina, but before we go, let's look at our whole off-grid water system from start to finish. It has water, so that's nice. <laughs> this is our 2,500 gallon water tank. We get city water delivered to us. We used to haul it ourselves. That was not fun. And the way we were doing it costed about the same as having it delivered in the first place. All of this uh, is our filter system. My husband is a plumber and he put it in. It's got a couple different sizes of just normal filtration that we have to change every six months to a year. And it has, it also has a UV light that we can hook up. We used to have a ceramic filter too, but we found, but we found that it was too slow. So we weren't getting the correct water pressure to allow our system to work. We have a huge on-demand water heater. It's the biggest and the best, but unfortunately it was a mistake for this small of a space. If we don't get the correct water pressure, it just doesn't work because it is created for a very large space. The water will start cycling between hot and cold and it doesn't make for a very comfortable shower. We've tweaked some of the other things so that it works better for us now, but I definitely don't recommend it. It was an issue for a really long time. This type of heater also wastes quite a bit of water while it's heating up. It just takes longer, of course, because it's not sitting with hot water in it like a normal water heater. All right here is our ginormous kitchen sink. I personally prefer something with a double sink and a little bit more shallow. It's just my preference, uh, but it's been a really good sink. It has water, so that's nice. <laughs> If you hear noises in the background, it's because my family is literally packing up boxes today um, because we are leaving. We have this small bathroom sink. It does the job. Nice little ceramic thing. Let's see, I might have to get in the shower. And we have this low flow shower head in the shower. It's a nice little filter to get out any impurities and if you set the flow too low then again the water pressure isn't enough for the heater to work so this steel pipe down here gathers a little bit of calcification and let's look at the tub okay so we have a stock tank for our tub and that would use way too much water if we actually filled it up to use it so we don't we just shower in it and also it, it has a tendency to get rust in it. So it's cute, but I don't really recommend it. Okay, let's talk about the gray water. The used water used to drain to a more complicated system, but we found that it just gets trapped in the different pipes and things uh, because of the stuff that goes down the sink, you know? It just starts clogging things up over time and it causes a lot of problems and it smells bad once it starts to get all clogged up. Eventually we, <laughs> so eventually we learned that simple is better. The system we use now is piped to a three foot pit. The cover is right here behind me, this green thing. The pit is lined with some thick gardening cloth and filled with gravel. It has a cover to keep the bugs out, that's very important, and it's surrounded by a foot of wood chips. So the water seeps into the pit and surrounding wood chips and gets completely filtered that way. The gravel and the cloth filter out any sediment from the sinks. That's our system from start to finish. I hope this helps you on your homestead journey. Hi buddy, you're my boy? You're my, oh, I've still got it recording. Hello.